guy has got his face so up in Iyabo's ASS at this point because what is this? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl AZ Nay Williams. How y'all doing? Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are fine. If you are new to this channel, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Okay guys, we are talking the real housewives of Lagos. Another episode was posted today and ha, people of God, I've got just for you. Um, uh, the episode's um, title is um, The Friendship is Over or No More Friendship or something like that. Hey, <laughs> Okay, so where do I start? Who do I start with now? Because this kind of friendship where Dr. Rommel they claim he gets with faith, he gets a CB. Hey, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you guys for free that Dr. Rommel it's not Dr. Romelin. Like the Dr. Romelin we saw in the first three episodes or two episodes of the show has all of a sudden fallen off. Like it's just a downward spiral since last episode or the episode before that. Anyways, so in this episode, first there was a meeting between Tanya, Chioma, Goodhair, yeah, Chioma, and um Dr. Romel, when they were still at a very sort, you know, where after the games that they played where they were talking about, you know, the whole outburst, the chaos that happened at the last night's party at Iyabo's event, you know, and Dr. Rommel suddenly is acting all, oh, um, the event is not fair. Oh, we messed up. I'm like, Kilele, what is your problem? Guy, you were totally blaming fate now. You were blaming fate. You were saying it was all fate for last night. So from last night till this morning, what you call happen? Hey, <laughs> this was Dr. Romel. Sha. He was just like, oh, no, no, no. You know, I guess it was when he realized that the ladies were not having it with him. He realized that, you know, most of the ladies were like, I mean, it was faith that brought you into this clique. So, I mean, you should get your ass together and reconcile with her. That was when he started acting all, oh, it's not that, it's not that deep, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, anyways. So now let's jump over to the meeting that happened between Dr. Rommel and Faith. But before we jump over to that, there was a meeting that happened between Faith and Toyin. Yes, I'm totally loving the energy of Toyin this season. You guys know Toyin is giving me, I don't care. You know, she's giving me, I'm real. This is who I am. You're not going to make me, you know, um, carry your beef. You know, that kind of a thing. So, um, in that meeting, that's where we realized that, uh, uh, this Dr. Romel that is claiming that he and Faith are besties and all of that before, that is not true. They actually met last year, like on the 8th or something of that sort. Faith showed the screenshot of their first chat with Toyen and she was like, this guy doesn't even know me. She doesn't, he doesn't know where I live. He doesn't know my kids. He doesn't know my family. Like this guy has been going about behind you guys talking shit about the ladies, saying that Choma is unintelligent, saying that, oh, he has to Google who Tanya is that he doesn't know who that is you know wanting to you know get gist from her about the ladies and we all know that is true like the beautiful thing is while they were saying that the crew or the people that edited the the season or the episode decided to go back to that conversation you all know when you know dr Rommel tried to like you know be shady you know when talking with faye trying to gossip and faye shut him down yes they showed that i told you it was like ah this guy is not like he's not a straightforward person he's trying to send me to faith i mean for what reason anyways that conversation happened then the conversation like that was the most cringe worthy conversation this entire episode yes guys so the conversation that happened between fate and dr romel like okay so dr romel wanted to have a conversation with fate right and we all thought okay this conversation is going to be about you know the whole outburst the whole drama he put up you know at iabo's event the night the other night and guess what this guy started talking about? He started talking about, oh, um, I wanted to talk about how the ladies were talking about you, about what happened between you, Iyabo, and Miriam. And I'm like, hold up a minute. <laughs> For where to where? Like, you are saying you want to have a conversation with her because of that, because you want to know what exactly is going on. But you, guy, you have already concluded, you know, with Iyabo, 
you know, that faith is a bad person, that faith does not apologize and all of that. So what exactly is your motive? What exactly is it? Um, I love the way Faith shut him down. Faith was like, you're not my friend, though. We are not friends. Like, you don't know the name of my son. You don't even know where I live in the um in the US. You don't know how, where I live in Lekki. Like, if you're supposed to be somebody's friend and besties, I mean, are you still supposed to know things like that? But he doesn't. Um, Faith was like, you know what? You're not my friend. And Faith got up to leave. Guess what this guy did? He followed Faith. Oh, I was shouting, you are fake. You are fake. Please, I'm please, oh, please, 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 please. I'm like, oh my god, where is shame? Where is shame, Dr. Rama Bikono? Buy one, buy even if it's for free, even if it's borrow, borrow shame because you don't have it. Hey, ha, <laughs> people of God. I think that one was not enough. Miriam came with her bad belly, bad energy. So Laura is, you know, launching her lip gloss line. So before then, she had a shoot with her models. Then she invited, you know, um, Miriam to have a chat with her about, you know, the whole situation. And then when they were talking, Miriam was even the one that brought up the faith of people. And the next day she was like, oh, I know you're trying to defend her. Oh, she doesn't like, I'm like, uh-uh, what is wrong with this babe? And guess what? During the confessionals, Mary was not like, oh, I came here for another thing. Oh, why did I, why did um Laura have to talk about faith? Blah, 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 blah. I don't even care. I'm like, you don't care. We've established the fact that you don't care. But it's looking like you actually care about the friendship between Laura and Faith. And I love Laura. I love her energy this season. I mean, she's in her happy girl era. She just said, you know what? No matter what they are going to say, I'll pick a Faith over a Miriam any day, any time. And I second that, baby girl. I second that. And then, of course, Laura had her event. She invited all the ladies. She also invited a Yabo, shockingly. You guys know that Yabo did not invite her for her last event. And if Yabo could not attend, she said, oh, she was sorry, blah, 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 blah. Mm. Well, she could not attend because she was in the US with her labu. Yes, guys. So at the event, oh my God, Dr. Rommel. See, if there was, what do I, how do I call it now? If there was a competition, an award for the fakest person I've seen on my screen today, I'll gladly hand it over to Dr. Rommel. Hey! Hmm. So he, um, no, it was Tiana that came first, then Dr. Ramal came, then Faith. Um, if you see the way he started acting, hey, goodness gracious. He was like, oh, oh, this one, this one. Then to make matters worse, when Choma and the other ladies came, except for Miriam, we are going to give a special, you know, um, talk about Miriam's entrance because it deserves its own space. Yes, and I know what I'm saying. So now, and then Choma calls up Iyabo on FaceTime and she's going around talking with the ladies except for Faith because I don't know, I thought they are over it. Faith is my girl. Baby girl did not flinch. Like she just made me understand that, you know what? She's okay on her own. She's not a pick me girl. She's not going to, you know, um, be a walk, you know, make herself a walking mat for these people. Um, if you see Dr. Romel, Dr. Romel purchased a lip gloss for Iyabo, she, he purchased lip gloss for Priscilla Iyabo's daughter. Now, in his confessionals, he was like, oh, I mean, he cannot buy uh, lip gloss for all these ladies. You know, they are dating men, they are enjoying, so that the men uh, that they are dating should buy for them. But I'm like, ah, you are the, uh, buying for Iyabo. Is Iyabo your girlfriend? Is the daughter your girlfriend? Do you know the daughter? Do they know you? Like, if you see the way this guy was just acting, oh, Iyabo! Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, 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 I have never seen a, so, like, I've never seen such a fake person before. Like, what kind of a person is this? You know that, um, notice me, you know, notice me, I am here. Oh, let's prepare faith. Oh, yeah, but, oh my God, this guy has got his face so up in Iyabo's ASS at this point, because what is this? Hey, people of God. And I'm sure the other ladies noticed because even though it was like, ah, you both were here, but you cannot buy for the other ladies. Like, what's that? Anyways, let's leave that one aside. Let's talk about our woman of the moment, Miriam. Miriam walked in as if, you know how you wrap, not Christmas gift though. Mm -mm. You know when you want to, if you're Nigerian, you know what I'm talking about. When you buy stockfish, mm -hmm. 
and you are wrapping it. Maybe you want to send it via cargo to somebody in the in the states or abroad or maybe you are in the east you want to send it to lagos you know how you package it well so that it will not smell so that the driver you know people will not perceive any smell that's you know stockfish because you know stockfish has a very small strong smell yes that is how whoever designed that uh marian's clothes packager in tayam hey yeah 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 even Tanya could not contain it. Tanya, I'm bad. I'm like, what in be this? What in you wear? And to think that some few minutes ago, she was actually, you know, talking about, you know, what Laura was wearing. <laughs> hey, the joke keeps writing itself on this show. But anyways, I'll give it to Miriam Shah. Not in the fashion place, so, but in her home front, her marriage is actually beautiful. Like... Her moments with her daughter baking, you know, talking with her husband, you know, and Miriam also has shed a light in something that is not so common in Nigeria, which is surrogacy. You know, um, watching her, you know, wanting to go through that process, you know, having her cousin talk about it, them going to a doctor. It's like, okay, so surrogacy is actually a thing in Nigeria because... You know how my country people can be. Like, if you're not delivering the baby like the women of Hebrew, they don't feel like you've, you know, given birth. But, I mean, it's a very beautiful, you know, I love that. I also love the fact that Choma also went back, you know, to the people that she was doing, you know, some charity work for in season one. That's beautiful. And you could see when Choma was talking with Halabu, mm -hmm, even though they did not show us this way, why is it that they don't show us Choma's boost face? We want to see him. We want to know him. We, the online in-laws, want to know him. But um, in all of this, if you miss next week's episode, you're on a long time. Ah, Miriam and Choma drag it out at uh, Tanya's event. Yes, so, hey, hey, hey. Um, uh, uh, Chama was like, you are the reason why we don't we stop talking to Laura. I'm like, my God, my father, my father. See, my baby girl, Laura, has been vindicated again. I'm all ego -geek. Next week, I will be here for more violence from the Real Housewives of Lagos. But in conclusion, Dr. Romo is an Aslika. He is a two-faced two -faced person. He is so fake. He's so fake that the fakest person, in fact, I don't think that if they put him, you know, with all those, you know, fake products that you, you rather pick those fake products over him because he is so fake. The fakeness would, is even glaring to a person that is blind. Now, Choma is still not giving me what I want. I want the Choma of season one. Like this Choma is all out to please Iyabo. Anything, Iyabo, go girl, Iyabo. I I'm like, ah. No, 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 no. I want the trauma that was her own person. Fate, one man more po. You pour a girl to the court. She no care, she no sense. Ten of you no free bring her down. I love that babe. Miriam, oh my goodness. One hand, I'm going through Miriam's surrogacy plans. And I'm like, oh. On the other hand, she's doing like somebody where <laughs> I don't even know. Ah. Miriam, you are still the negative energy. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Be that, you know, um, Miriam, we saw with your husband. Halba. Then who again? Why do I keep forgetting Tanya? She's just bland. Honestly, she's bland. Tanya will not talk. She will not open her mouth and talk in the congregation where other women are there. But you see in her confessionals, hey, chi 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 I'm like, babe, reunion, they go eat you raw. Wow, light a lie. Reunion. <laughs> and to my very own king of fashion, Toye. See, Toye keep impressing me. I love her. I love her. I love her, Abeg. She's not there for all this for me. She's who she is. The fact that Toye even came to Laura's event, knowing that, you know, they were friends, so, but they fell out in season one. You know, it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful to see. And for Dr. Rommel, let's end this, I beg. Dr. Rommel, the moment I just remember all those things he was doing in this episode, he just pissed me off, I beg. On that note, I'd like to say a very big thank you to you all for staying with me on this episode of The Real Housewives of Lagos, which I still cannot remember if it's episode 5 or 6, but you shall know the episode in the caption. Yes, guys, thank you so very much. And uh, if you've not yet subscribed, you know what to do. Click on the subscription button. And um, I've forgotten my lines. 
click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video until i come your way again i remain your darling girl az new williams have yourself a beautiful wonderful day ahead yeah so dr Rommel has made me forget my lines bye guys